turns out that Republican freshman congressman and well known pathological liar George Santos competed in drag queen beauty pageants when he was living in Brazil. This is from 15 years ago. There is evidence that has surfaced lately as a result of this story. I don't look, obviously, I think there's nothing wrong with drag queens. I think that they're fun. But the Republican Party has spent a lot of time in recent months making it appear as though drag queens should be public enemy number one. That they're super dangerous, that they're corrupting the minds of children across the country. And so maybe that's the reason why George Santos has decided to deny that he competed in beauty, drag queen beauty pageants in the past. But we do have the evidence, stick around for that. But first, how did we find out about this? How did it come to light, Jenk? Turns out that someone who was an acquaintance of his came forward. This acquaintance spoke to MSNBC journalist Marissa Cabas. The 58 year old Brazilian performer who uses the drag name Eula Rochard Rochard, said she befriended the now congressman when he was cross dressing in 2005 at the first gay pride parade in a suburb of Rio de Janeiro. Three years later, Santos competed in a drag beauty pageant in Rio, according to his acquaintance. Now, everyone knew him as Anthony, never George, or by his drag name, Kitara. And she provided receipts. So I know it's a grainy image, but on the right hand side, that is where you will see George Santos. Okay, on that one, I wasn't positive that it was Santos, even though everybody was saying it was clear. But we have more evidence. But then I saw the second picture and I was like, oh yeah. Graphic four. <laughs> yeah, that's him. <laughs> that's a much, much clearer picture. Look at the cheeks, look at the nose, look the at teeth. the eyes, look at the teeth. Yep. That's definitely him. Um, so. Well, now he's in trouble. Uh, Is he though? Is he though? Because look, do I think that conservatives and the Republican Party in general genuinely sees drag queens as a threat to children? No, but what they love to do is provide the squirrels. And they love to find and target a particular group to fear monger about for their campaigning purposes. Because again, what else would they campaign on? Their crappy economic policies? that rig the economic system in favor of the rich and to the detriment of the poor, that wouldn't play so well with their base. Yeah, no, I know Anna, but that's why he's in trouble. So look, if you're a Republican, can you lie and get away with it? <laughs> We're not mainstream media, almost all the Republicans lie, almost all the politicians lie, Republicans and Democrats. And we're talking about lying, we're talking about lying. The leader of the Republican Party was Donald Trump. I'm not sure who's a bigger pathological liar, Donald Trump or George Santos. Now, media makes it sound like, oh, Santos, the one guy who's a liar, who's a politician. Are you guys kidding me? Are you joking? Okay, so of course the Republicans don't mind him being a liar. Not only the Republican politicians, and McCarthy, remember, needed his vote as he was trying to become Speaker of the House. That's why he backed him. And remember that he won in a district that is actually a Biden district. So the Republicans don't wanna get rid of him because of that, because they were afraid of losing the seat, right? Because it's all about power. So that's why I thought Santos was pretty safe, like liar. They're like, welcome to the party, right? And then he, you know, apparently we found out the other day that he, you know, took $3,000, said he was gonna save the dog, a dog's life, let the dog a die. A homeless veteran who had yeah. a service dog that needed surgery to live. Unfortunately, cross paths with George Santos, who put up a GoFundMe fundraiser page for the surgery, but then took the money and ran. Yeah, yeah. but do Republicans mind that? No, Trump ripped off care. veterans all the time. Yeah, right. Trump ran a fake charity, just like George Santos did. But Trump's fake charity had a lot more money, and they would use it for absurd things like buying a giant painting of Donald Trump twice. Okay, and they had to pay a fine and shut it down because even Trump admitted it was a scam. So they don't mind any of that. You think they mind the dead dog? I mean, this country goes nuts for dogs, right? But even that, they would be like, who cares? It just shows that he's vicious. And Republican voters like vicious, right? And they're like, a con man, that's smart, it's good business, it's good business. Whoever gave him money is a sucker and a loser, right? But a drag queen. 
we can't have it. No, but Jay, oh, let me finish my thought because they scaremonger about drag queens for campaigning purposes because they want power. But once they have the power, they don't care. I right? know, but it's embarrassing them. Do like, you think the Republican Party is capable of feeling embarrassment, Jake? Yes. What? And so hold on, hold wow. on, hold on, hold on, hold okay, on. Okay, I'm holding. So and and this might be missing a critical element. Mm, I, I know that. But remember, Madison Cawthorn did embarrass them, and he because he mentioned that they were doing orgies and they were doing cocaine. Okay, and what did they use to to make sure that he lost? They showed pictures of him cross dressing. I know, but they went after Madison Cawthorn because he he said something that could potentially hurt members of the Republican Party, so they retaliated. I know, but the reason that why this hurts members of the Republican Party is because they're all uh, going on the war path against. They, they say, "Oh, we don't mind drag queens. We just worry that a single child might see it." And then all of a sudden they would become gay or something, right? So that's their whole, what else do they have? They don't have anything else. Like Anna said earlier, it's not like they can, they're gonna fight for workers. So this undermines their one thing, which is all the people we hate. So it's tough to hate them when Santos apparently was a drag queen. So look, I'm not saying they're gonna get rid of them because they still need that seat. Yeah, they're not gonna get okay? rid of them. Okay, but I'm just saying this makes it, this is the thing that makes it the most likely out of all the different horrible things that he's done. And by the way, there's nothing wrong with being a drag queen. My point is Republicans will take a thing, thing that's perfectly benign and say that's way worse than him being a liar, a thief, etc. Yeah, uh, look, I don't, I, there is, in my opinion, nothing that could potentially come out about this guy that would convince Republican leadership to pressure him to resign or for Republican leadership to retaliate against him the way they did with Madison Cawthorn. I would be shocked, especially considering that seat that he won, that George Santos won, was held by a Democrat and it was flipped by George Santos. In their minds, you know, forcing him to resign and, and, and potentially having a special election would make them lose another member of the Republican Party in the House, which would make their slim majority in the House even slimmer. Right, so I, I doubt they're gonna do anything. At the end of the day, everything they do is motivated by their quest for political power, okay? So with that said, uh, let's talk about how he was a really bad drag queen, cuz that's okay. fun, okay? Right. So Richard said the congressman was a poor drag queen in 2005 with a simple black dress. But in 2008, he came back with a lot of money and a flamboyant pink dress to show for it. Santos competed in a drag beauty pageant that year, but lost. So he tried to bring it, but didn't really bring it. He's changed a lot, but he was always a liar. He was always such a dreamer, Richard said. And so he, by the way, denies all of this. He's like, people, people are showing pictures of me dressed as a drag queen and accusing me of being in drag queen beauty pageants, and it's a lie. Here's the exact. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's talking just, about lies. He's he, talking li about lies. he lied about where his mother was on 9/11. Do you guys remember that? He campaigned claiming that his his mom was you know at at the towers. Yeah. On September 11th, luckily she escaped, but she became very sick thanks to that toxic dust and died because of 9/11 due to the inhalation of that. Turns out she wasn't even in the United States. She was in Brazil at the time. Yeah, well, that, that, that toxic dust does travel. Could have reached all the way to Rio. By the way, she died 15 years later. Okay, but tell me the difference between George Santos and Donald J. Trump. All right, while you're doing that, we also have a poll for you guys. What is he more likely to basically get in trouble for participating in a drag show or scamming a homeless veteran and letting his dog die? Now, Americans love veterans, they love dogs. So I don't know, are the Republicans still human? Do they yeah. still like these dogs and veterans? We'll find out, tyt.com slash polls. We'll always have the link in the description box and always check that out.